52-year-old Amanda Holden enjoys spending time with her grandchildren, but recently heartburn and chest pains made it difficult. Oh, you just don't know. I had miserable, miserable pain every night, you know, trying to get to sleep, couldn't get to sleep, you know, and I had to sit up most all night long. To check for acid reflux, or GERD, the traditional test requires wearing a plastic tube down your nose and throat for 24 hours. And as Dr. Jan Jansen, a gastroenterologist at Centera Virginia Beach General Hospital says, it's not always pleasant for the patient. Typically what happens, you, you place the catheter, it goes through the nose, it goes down into the esophagus, you measure whether your lower esophageal sphincter is, and you try to put it up about five centimeters above that. And it has two um, ports in it, or two probes, uh, sensors that you can measure pH lower and higher. And, um, and it works, it works. It's what has been, um, all the studies have been done on. Um, however, the problem with that is compliance because you have a catheter in the nose. Uh, people tend not to go about their daily activities. With the new Easier Bravo test, a wireless capsule is temporarily attached to the esophagus for up to 48 hours. The device measures the acid levels in the throat and sends data to a pager-style receiver. Doctors like the accuracy of Bravo data, and after the test period, the tiny transmitter simply drops off the esophagus and is eliminated naturally. The Bravo catheter is a, um, a wireless um, probe that's placed in the esophagus and has the advantage of having better compliance because you don't have a transnasal catheter, which is very uncomfortable for patients. They can go about doing their normal activities much better. With the Bravo test, Amanda felt nothing and easily followed her normal routine. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Once acid reflux is under control, patients can enjoy life again. This is Janet Fassel reporting.